our third second round matchup as the number five seed and defending tournament champion Coastal Carolina Chanticleers take on the number four seed UT Arlington Mavericks. Cade Winquist is not going to pitch in this tournament. Ball in the air over on the left side. Let's see if the wind plays with this thing a little bit. Minhar is going out, and the left fielder Childs comes racing in to make the play. Junior right fielder out of Frisco, Texas, by way of Grayson Community College. 2-2 pitch, called strike three. And Miller will head back to the dugout to get his glove. An error on the play. you got to account for Wood being able to get to third base. And that is a base hit to right field. And the Chanticleers have a 1-0 lead. RBI single delivered by Jake Wright, Flakes Wood. And Coastal Carolina on top, 1-0. Two balls and two strikes. That ball is sent to center field for a base hit. Rivers scores. Here comes Wright. Throw to the plate. He will score. Two runs single for Chavers. And the Chanticleers have a 3-0 lead. Pretty efficient with his strikes. That ball is struck well. Back to the wall and gone. Mavericks just got to run back. Connor Obi just sent that one into the deck out there in left field. Home run, number four for Obi and RBI number 28. Rocket shot, fair ball down the right field line. Obi comes around second, he will score. It's three to two, they've got Dominguez in a rundown. Watch the guy at third, Dominguez is safe. Two one pitch. In the air, left field, charging, going to fall for a base hit. One run in, two runs in, and the Mavericks have busted this game open in the bottom of the eighth with a two-run base hit by the pinch hitter, Marino. 1-1 one, one pitch. Rifled in the left field, base hit. Wood scores, and it's 6-5. to five. This is loaded. One out. Ball is hit hard to right field. Going to fall for a base hit. River scores. Here comes Wright. He scores. Chanticleers have the lead. High in the air to center field. That should score skills from third base, and it will. That's the insurance run that they were looking for, and it's 8-6. to six. And another youngster here and put him in a big situation and see if they can't deliver themselves. He's rolled into one double play this season. That's what they're looking for right here. Ball goes to the backstop again, and the tying run scores. And now the winning run is at third base. Back-to-back -back runs scoring on wild pitches. 2-2 two -two pitch. Ball is hit in the hole in right field. Here comes the runner around third, the throw to the plate, and he is safe. Mavericks win. Coach, a five-run eighth inning. Yeah. Coastal responds in the yeah. same fashion, and then you go into extras. How did you see your team respond after Coastal responded to you? Like we did last weekend at Texas State, we really, we were really resilient, and we, we've, we could have gave up right there. I mean, that was that was really a tough one to swallow, but we got two and had a chance to win it there and didn't get it done. And give Divis credit, uh, held him in the tenth and big hit by Zach to get it done, and a big bump by Aaron, too. What does it mean to have Zach go to the plate like he did, and what exactly do you think he saw to get that win? Well, he had struggled, and it's left on left, and he had struggled with their starter. Their starter was good tonight, and, and uh, but give him credit. He's a junior. He's tough and, and shortened up, two-strike hit, and a lot of times that's all it takes. Every other game so far today, including your own, has been big yeah. in the eighth inning and showing that anyone can win this tournament at this point. So yeah. for you all in particular, what's your message to your team to go out tomorrow and any adjustments maybe that need to be made? Well, just keep fighting. It, this time of the year, everybody's a little beat up. Everybody's a little tired, but everybody's fighting, and, and I, I like the fight in our team. Uh, I can't say enough about it. We came up short last weekend, and it looked like we are going to come up short tonight. And, and they just kept going, and that's all you can do is just take it one, one game at a time. That sounds really simple, but it's hard to do.